episode of Let's Play Dark Cloud. In the last episode, we uh, s started the game and our entire village got destroyed right before our very eyes. And then some old man spirit guy told us, hey, I gave you some shit now, let's go on, uh, go on an adventure and restore your town. A big keyhole, use item with square. Okay. I will, oh, actually, now we can take a look at what we have. We have the cave key. You give us some water. Uh, nearly quenches thirst. Doesn't tell me what that does for me, but okay. Uh, bread. Eating it recovers health a little bit. Repair powder recovers weapon HP of weapons. That'll come into play later. Escape powder. Having this will escape from dungeon. An antidote drink. Well, that's obvious. Antidote. Anyway, let's open the door to the Divine Beast Cave so we can go in to Divine Beast Cave. And uh, recover some Alta, which have people and places in them, apparently. Apparently, Basement Floor 1 has 8 Alta, and I don't know what that thing all the way at the end means. That's probably enemies killed or something. So yeah. Let's recover all the Alta and then move on to the next level of this area, moving steadily along. Oh, convenient how we just happen to have that dagger, huh? Or whatever. Well, yeah, it looks like a dagger. Actually, it might be a little long. It's for real this time, Draco. Last time it was just a dream of some shit, but now I'm actually here. I like using the word shit for some reason. I just can't seem to stop. Hmm. Anyway, Draco, from here on, you will be put to the true test. As opposed to some false tests that I was running you through. I, I didn't run you through any tests, actually. I don't know why I'm saying the true test, exactly. Whatever, let's just go on. First, conquer this wretched divine beast's cave and find Dran's lair. That's your first goal. I mean, the mayor already told you that, but I'm telling you to just to reinforce it. You're a beginner. I'll give you a lesson on how to fight in the dungeon. First, to advance to the next floor in a dungeon, acquire a gate key, which looks suspiciously like the top of some of the boss keys in The Legend of Zelda. Highly irrelevant, it's not based off the same one, just shut up. Each dungeon has a different gate key for the Divine Beast Cave, or Divine Beast Cave, not Divine, Divine. Dran's Crest will be the gate key. So the one you're seeing right here might just be Dran's Crest, and the others won't look anything like that. The gate key is almost always carried by a monster in the dungeon. You must defeat monsters to acquire the gate key. Since, I ca uh, since you can't tell which one has the key, you'll just have to defeat them all one by one. Hopefully, I mean in a perfect world, sometimes multiple will attack you, I'm sure, and then you'll just have to either run or use some strategy or something. Next, I'll tell you about how to return to the ground level, rather than advancing to the floor below. There's a treasure chest over there, I want it. Old man, can you get me out a tutorial so I can grab that treasure chest? No, I couldn't be more interested in the ways I'm saving the world, but that treasure chest is calling my name and I need to open it. Can't you just hear it? To return to ground level, mind connect with me. In other words, speak with your mind. Some people call this telekinesis, or, or sorry, not telekinesis, that's moving things with your mind. They call it telepathy. But that's a big, long, complicated word, so let's just call it the mind connect and speaking with your mind. When you do this, I will transport your body to the ground level. Just select leave dungeon from the main menu. By the way, I love the art style here he does for his tutorial stuff. I feel like this is like... For anyone who's seen the uh, seen Bleach at all, when Rukia explains things with the little notepad that she drew on, I feel like he drew this to show this off. And he's flipping the pages back and forth, we're just not seeing that. But be aware, but be aware rather, not beware, be aware. If there are monsters left on the floor, the Mind Connect won't work. It will be blocked by their evil energies, which kind of makes this a bit worthless, this teleportation. I mean, unless you're out of supplies and you don't want to continue down, but... You get, you get the point. Let's move on. In such cases, use the item Escape Powder to get out on your own. Making me again seem kind of useless as long as you've, you know, 
got the powder in hand, but I assure you, I am a very useful NPC. I mean spirit. Spirit's what I meant. Gotta stop breaking that fourth wall. The Norun Village Chief has lots of it. Be sure to get it before you go. He already gave you, like, some a small amount of stuff, but it might be in your best interest to, I don't know, grab some more or something. You can also mind connect with me when you go through the gate to the next floor of a dungeon. When you re-enter the dungeon, you can start on the next new level, so you don't have to worry about losing progress. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not entirely sure this game is T or E. I could be wrong and it's an E-rated game. And I've been cursing up a storm, so... Yeah, well, we'll have to see. Next, it's on to weapons. Be aware that weapons are breakable! And this is why I haven't beaten the final boss of this game. Because all of my weapons wither down, he gets low in HP. But all of my weapons are really low, and I run out of repair powder eventually. Because he has a sh... No, I'm gonna say it, whatever, we'll just assume it's Steam again. A shit ton of health. And my weapons don't have that much health. And that's really annoying! The more you use a weapon, the more it wears and finally breaks. Broken weapons will disappear. To prevent weapons from breaking, use the item Repair Powder. It will restore their weapon HP. By the way, in case you haven't realized, I loathe damaging weapons mechanics. When the weapon has a set amount of HP you have to be cautious about. I just loathe it, and it's because of this game. But I like this game. And I'm willing to bear through it as long as it's not cheap, I guess, but... <sighs> the longer you use a weapon by repairing, the more magic it absorbs from monsters and thus becomes stronger. It's said that when a weapon reaches its full strength, it can change to more into... Nah. It can change to a more powerful form. Keep that in mind. Oh, I cast a special spell on the dagger you have on you, so it'll never disappear. But I'm not going to do this for the rest of your weapons, because that would be too easy. I mean, if they never broke, then you wouldn't need the repair powder, would you? So I just did it for one. So yeah, never upgrade the dagger ever. Otherwise, you won't have an unbreakable weapon. I mean, you can upgrade the dagger. You can. You can evolve it and everything, but I wouldn't. Because I do that every time I play this game, and I still haven't beaten the final boss. But if you have the dagger, you have a weapon that can never be destroyed. Is it weak? Oh yeah, it's weak. But you'll have something, at least. In the worst case scenario, if all your other weapons are worn down to bits and you don't have any more repair powder. But all the new weapons you get during the quest will disappear once they break, so be careful. Don't waste your hard work by letting a weapon break and disappear. Finally, the important stuff. The Sphere Alta, where I protected and sealed the fragments of the world. If you see an Atla, don't hesitate to touch it. You can absorb the contents of the Atla into the Alta Melia by... Excuse me. By touching it. When you return to the surface, you will be able to reassemble these fragments of the world. Oops, today's ra lesson ran a little long. That's it for the lecture today. It was only eight minutes long, so not too long, but still pretty long for tutorial, I guess, but they have been much longer. I mean, do you remember Kingdom Hearts 2? Boy, was that area long the beginning. That was two hours. Two hours of beginning area. Oh, wait, you never played. R right, because Draco the Let's Play, or the Adventurer. Sorry, I'm talking about someone else. I, I constantly break the fourth wall. I need to stop that. Now, Draco, show me your true ability on this quest. Excuse me while I vanish into light, even though there's monsters here, so that shouldn't technically be possible. Okay. Now gonna tell us how... And that red dot is obviously an enemy. There we go, I figured it out, it's X. Oh, there's the enemy. Ah! Can I lock on to... Not like the owl! Ow! Ow! Ah, oh, take that, skeleton scumbag! Huh. How do I open this? Oh, there. I was the wrong way. Magical crystal. Which allows me to see where everything is. That's helpful. 
Okay, before we move on, let me just make sure I have the controls down. Okay, that's attacking. That's my items. Speaking of which, uh, let's see, 36 is 70. Um, although... Oh, right, I have to put things in my active item list, don't I? Well, I don't need that yet. But the escape powder will be useful. Oh, I guess I only have room for one then? Unless I... no? I can only hold one now? That's... Oh, nope, that fit. So why didn't it fit before? Huh. Oh, I see. You see that meter right there? The blue one under the weapon health? Lamp acquired. That's our water gauge. If we run out of water, something happens. I'm not entirely sure what. It's a big keyhole. Well, I don't have anything to open that with, so... Oh, hello, Dasher. I thought he said my dagger was invincible. Why is it running low on... Well, health. Trees acquired. Hello, Cave Bat. Ow. Oh, God! Um... Oh boy. There's also a dungeon map, apparently. Road. Okay, how did I- oh, triangle, that's right. Time to use this. There we go. Oof, not doing too hot. Oh, the thing with the giant hole is the Dran Crest I'm gonna need to move further down. Right, right, that makes sense. Okay, so red dots are obviously enemies, green dots are the Alt Atla. Whoop! I ran right into that attack. I'm gonna die. Ah! Okay, what's this one? River. More river, huh? If I run into that bat I'm hearing, I'm gonna die. You know what? Can I just leave and come back after getting more supplies? I can't. Leave dungeon! Use escape powder. Oh, that's how that's done. That didn't go very well. Ugh. I'm a bit rusty, to be fair. It's been years since I played this game again. Oh, so now he's gonna give me the building stuff tutorial. Exclamation point! Hello again, I know we just met, but- er, just spoke already. Ha ha ha! Seems like you finally came back with some Atla. Very well then, I shall teach you, as promised. I promised. The pieces sealed inside the Atla are released by touching the Atla with your left hand, where the power of the Altamila resides. Buildings and people that were sucked into the Altamila will be restored to their original form. Once you bring them back to the ground level, you can arrange them as you wish. By going back and forth between the dungeon and ground level, you can restore the earth to its original form. That's your mission as the one who is granted the power of the Atlamelia. Now, let's move on. This may get a bit technical. If you wanted to place buildings, etc., press the select button. 
while walking to the uh yeah, while walking and go to edit mode. I know you have no idea what a select button is, but trust me, that's what you do. Someone will know what I'm talking about. Press the select button again to return to walking mode. In edit mode, you can reassemble buildings that have fallen apart and place them on the ground. Seeing is believing. Try it yourself. Must be faster than listening to my lecture. Oh yes, and if you ever forget things I teach you, use this. Manual acquired. It's a guide for using the Atlamelia. In and other things I wrote. Now I wrote it for beginners like you. Because apparently this has happened more than once. Manual can be selected from the main menu. Read it carefully. Okay, I'll leave the world's reconstruction to you. I'll be watching. Ha ha ha! So long! We'll never see each other again! Unless I have more things to explain! I may be the King Fairy, but... I'm really just tutorial man! Yeah, I could. I could use those out that we got, but all we have is a river, a lamp, and road. It's not really much to restore. I'm gonna wait till we have, you know, a house or two. Alright, Mayor, give me some stuff. This looks to be no easy task. I'll put some item- uh, I'll put some items you'll be needing in your bag. Be careful, okay? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so really, you're just- you're just giving me this stuff here. A single slice of bread. And oh my. Oh, now it accepts it! Oh wait, no, it wasn't accepting the escape powder, because you have to use that a specific way. Even though he said he made it invincible, apparently I need to use repair powder. If I talk to him again, he'll give me more, right? Oh, that's how you do it then. You put some items in there, so then he gives you nothing. There we go. Fully quenched. Okay, now did you give me the water and bread? No, you just gave me water. Okay, so one item at a time, it seems, from this schmuck. <sighs> Oy vey. I was hoping maybe we could progress through one floor without me, like, having to end the episode. Well, we still have time. Let's see how many floors I can get to before we hit 30 minutes. And it doesn't reassemble, it stays the same. I mean, enemies respawn, I believe, but apart from that... But what do I know? It's been years since I've played this game. Alright, we have, like, half the Atla from this level, so... Yeah. There must be a lot more levels than I remember. Oh, you're kidding me. I have to regain all of those? Oop. Okay, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, hey, it dropped something. Bread! Hooray! Seven of that. Okay, so where is another treasure chest? Did this place become like a roguelike suddenly? Was this a roguelike before roguelikes technically existed? There we go. I was hoping I'd be able to hit that. Because that's what I was going for. Okay, a bench. There we go. Yeah, it looks like the entire layout of this dungeon changed on me. Whoops. Macho's house. He's a macho, macho man. Hey! There we go. Okay, I just gotta lay into them. What's all this question mark about? Eh. There's a tram with rusty wheels. Use item with square. I have nothing to use on that, so... 
Guess I'll be moving on. Okay, that's that. Where's the bat? Oh, there's the bat. Ow. Really, bat? Oh, you clever little bat. Bastard. Yeah, I'm not gonna upgrade this, you nuts. Yeah, this is a roguelike, I guess. Alright, antidote for me. Another repair powder. Whoops. Come on. Tasty water, as opposed to... This water doesn't even really have a flavor. Okay, instead of using my active bread, I think I'm going to throw in that. And use that. Huh. Weapon. Dagger. Fairly easy weapon to use default weapon. Hmm. Part of me wants to upgrade it. Even though I said not to because... Well, that could just be in the tutorial area. Hang on, I'm gonna... I'm gonna look at some stuff. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I, uh, did some research into the matter. The dagger does have weapon health, but it eventually turns into the broken dagger instead of totally breaking. The broken dagger can be equipped and does about one damage. Actually, not about. It does exactly one damage. So, I don't know if I want to upgrade the dagger at all. Dang it. Let me not re repair. I need that. I think you take damage by not having any water, so let's also flush in some water. Do I have a saving option? There's got to be a save option somewhere in this game. I'll hold off on upgrading the dagger until I save. Ooh, thing. Okay, fence. Dang it. There we go. Alright, what do we have here? The map! Huh. Oh right, but I don't have the dark jewels, so I can't see what's in a room. Whoops. Damn it. That's what I wanted. Uh-oh. And there's dark magic crystal, rather. Whoop. Damn it. Oh, hey, the Dran Crest. Again, apparently this water heals up all my stats. What does this thing do at the... Pumped with energy. Oh, my stamina went up. I don't know much about stamina right now. And I should, uh... Actually, you know what? No. I'm gonna wait till it has, like, no health left in it. That seems like a good plan. Whoop. I'm gonna kill those enemies over there. Get that last thing. Wow, those things die easy. There you go. Okay, this is where it is. Oh, good antidote. Exactly what I needed. Oh, wait, I have an antidote already. Dang it. 
how do I... Oh, there we go, that's how. I use the D-pad. Oh, I'm not poisoned anymore. There we go. Jeez, every hit does damage to my weapon as well. I hope that make, didn't make the item disappear that just dropped. I got Macho. An actual person. And it looks like I cleared this area without getting whatever's needed for that, uh... I guess it's, uh, minecart for something. Okay, so I have 14 hits left with my dagger before it comes the broken dagger. Okay, big keyhole. All right, time for the Dran Crest. Let's move our way down. Then get out of here to resupply. Leave Dungeon temporarily. All right. Oh, there's the save option. Okay, so I have to be out of dungeons to save. Give me a moment. I apparently have a lot of files that I never... Huh. So what am I saving over? Let's save over this one. Okay. Okay, now that I've saved, weapon upgrade, yes. Okay. Now I'm going to have to test and see if when I w break that it still becomes the or still becomes the broken dagger and doesn't just completely break on me and I have to get a new one. If it does, that's not that big a deal because, I mean, I'm sure it'll just spawn a dagger, right? No easy task. Thank you for the supplies. Put another piece of bread in here. Grab the regular water. Actually, wait. Usual water quenches thirst a little bit. Nearly quenches thirst. Okay, then yeah, let's put the regular water in because we don't want to waste our tasty ones. Okay, good to go. I'll meet you back in the uh, cave. Actually, you know what? Instead of going back to the cave, I think it's time we did some building. Building! Okay, uh, that's that. So let's go to the menu now. Okay, config assembly. Let's start with a river. I don't know why I'm starting with a river. I just feel like building a river. Oh, that's all I have? Well, never mind. That's not enough river for me to build a river. Okay. Let's start by building Macho's house. Uh, two things I have that... Oh, no, just the person. That's it. All right. Uh, let's put his house... Ba -ba -ba... Uh, here. Right here, right next to the beast area. Don't know why, I just feel like putting him there. Seems like the thing to do. Anything else I might want to build? Well, how much road do I have? Not much. Yeah, I won't be placing anything really big for a while, it seems. Oh, hey, treasure chest. Bread! Huzzah! Um, ooh, another thing. Tasty water. Neat. Oh, hey, there's a person? Yeah, there's a person. This must be Macho. Oh, Draco, I missed you, man. Your smile really brightens my day. Well, I'm happy to hear that, Macho. Well, that didn't take too long. Uh, but you know what? I think we're going to end this episode here, and the next one we'll move on to the second basement floor. Wow, it's, uh... Taking a while to make progress, huh? I'll see you guys in the next episode.